Today's verse is going to be taken from the first epistle of John, chapter 1. 1 John, chapter 1, verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Verse 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So how does it work? Do we say we have not sinned or do we just say, and does that not make us sinners anymore after the blood of Jesus has cleansed us from all sins? Am I a sinner or am I not a sinner after Jesus has cleansed me? Well, to answer this question and explain a little bit better are some of my friends, Bible teachers, Bible scholars, which we've asked for their opinion to help clarify these verses for the day. I think that John, like the other apostles who write letters that are in the New Testament, and Jesus, of course, he's very against sin. These apostles were very righteous men. They took what Jesus did for them very seriously. They, they took this uh, kingdom of heaven, this kind of new covenant that they were living under, that they were guiding people in. They took it all very, very seriously. And, and John spends so much of his first epistle writing against sin and explaining how people can be free of their sins by coming to Jesus and by what Jesus did, because that's, that just means everything to John. You see, Jesus, he saved us uh, with his blood from all sin, actually past, present, and future sin. And it's done. It's a done deal. We, we are sealed. We are redeemed. We're going to go to heaven. There's no question. It's a gift. It's nothing we did. It's all Jesus. So that's, that's just how it is. But daily, we need cleansing. We might need cleansing from our mind, from our thoughts, from our words, from our actions. We, we live in a, in a corrupt, I mean, the world is very corrupt and, and we're out there and we're going to get, we're going to get dirty, basically. John was always witnessing. And uh, right from the beginning, John chapter 1, and uh, in the book of John, he was talking about the light and uh, Jesus being that light. And here again, he refers to the light as being uh, Jesus. And he says, if we walk in the light, if we walk in Jesus, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sins. So we're cleansed by, by, through Jesus. And it says, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, meaning, you can't come to God without confessing that you're a sinner, that you've made mistakes, because our confession to Jesus that, well, well like John the Baptist, he was, uh, he brought forth the, the um, bapti baptism of repentance, where people were ready to say, okay, I'm sorry for my sin. And John said, okay, now someone greater than I is coming, right? So because you've confessed your sins, Jesus is going to cleanse you of those sins. John is, is telling people here, you know, he says quite clearly in his epistle, don't sin, don't sin. You know, he's very anti-sin. He says, and then, and if, and if you do sin, then here's what you do. You, you, you get cleaned by Jesus. And he makes it quite clear there that everybody needs it. it it's not something, like, no one can say that they don't need it. Someone that says they have not sinned, could that possibly be like someone saying that they don't need Jesus, they don't need his forgiveness, his redemption, and, uh, you know, he's really deceived. Some people do better than others. You know, that, that's something that, uh, that that's, that's, that's a fact, you know. I, I think um, some, some people receive Jesus and they go on and they live like, like the Apostle John, the Apostle Paul. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think they were... Uh, sinning and uh, causing people to stumble and um, needing to go and um, and confess a whole lot, but they might have. But th even they might have uh, had that happen sometimes. And John is pointing out here what you do if you have 
if you have a situation like that, if you have, if you are a believer and if you sin, well, it is the blood of Jesus that will cleanse you. That's, that's why we pray. That's why we ask for forgiveness. In James 5, we confess our faults one to another. Faults are sins, right? You're falling short. Uh, when the Pharisees saw Jesus um, going into uh, Levi's house, uh, that was um, the tax collector, uh, and sitting with publicans and sinners, he said, they said, whoa, what is with this man? He's sit doesn't he know he's sitting with publicans and sinners? And Jesus answered, he said, well, uh, the sick, uh, the, the whole need not a physician, but the sick do. And he said, I've not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. So he was referring to them being righteous or in their own eyes, very righteous. And the rest of the people admitting that they were sinners. There's a great verse that comes um, in the second chapter again, of course, like uh, you said, Benjamin, this is all written as one big letter. I just want to read this real quick because it, 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 this is quite clearly written to believers in Jesus. He says, My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. He doesn't want them to sin. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. So it is written to believers and he's telling believers what to do if they sin. They can still be cleansed by Jesus. So here he's saying, if we walk in the light as he is in light, we have fellowship one with another. We can be around people who are born again uh, through, um, uh, through um, confessing their sins and, and admitting that they, they've been sinners in the past. And he's saying, but if we say that we have no sin, like the Pharisees were saying, he said, we're deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. You haven't had the truth. You haven't received the truth, which is Jesus. Jesus is the truth. So you're, you're, you're not saved. And this is what he's trying to get across. He says, but if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So he's, he's talking to the self-righteous people who think that they don't need salvation. He's trying to get across to them that... Um, they need salvation. There's a verse in the Bible that says, he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So if we're not perfect in everything we do every day, we do sin, we do fall short of God's glory, but that's why Jesus came. He came um, so that we would recognize and continue to recognize that we need is salvation. We make mistakes every day. That's that's pretty obvious. And so we need we need we need a little bit of healing, a little bit of washing, cleansing every day. And that's that's my take. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for another amazing Bible verse for the day. And if you haven't subscribed already to our channel, you can do that right now.